This video will contain two segments. The first segment is going to be all about a percent composition. Regarding this learning target, I can calculate percent composition from lab data or standard information. And the second portion is going to be about empirical formulas and molecular formulas. Okay. So let's start with percent composition. What exactly is percent composition? Percent composition is that if you look at a chemical formula or a molecule and you gather data about the mass proportions of each chemical within the substance, um, you can get something called percent composition, which is the percent composition by mass each chemical is within your overall compound. Okay. So here you have um, a pie chart essentially of two different compounds. One's potassium chromate, one's potassium dichromate. And you can see from the picture, they both contain the same elements. Okay, they have potassium, they have chromate, and they have oxygen. But based on the percent composition by mass, you can tell basically how the structures are different, right? Dichromate has more um, oxygen by mass than just potassium chromate. And potassium dichromate also looks like it has more chromate by mass than the other ones. Now, from percent composition um, data, we can actually determine what the chemical formula is of a compound we're dealing with. And this is oftentimes how we end up discovering like what chemicals are in something. We can analyze what elements are present and get a relative percent of each of each element in the compound and then from that you can get a chemical formula um, of your substance. So to start with there are really two types of problems you can do. This first segment we're going to deal with how to get percent compositions okay? both from lab data and from chemical formulas. Okay? Percent composition. Now just the thing about percent, something to keep in mind because percents come up a lot in chemistry. You know how to get percents. You're very familiar with this. And when we think about a percent, all you're really doing is trying to figure out what proportion of the thing you're measuring is uh, per total of whatever you're looking at. Okay, So you always take some part of the whole and divide it by the total and then times it by 100 to get a percent. Okay. So a question to keep in mind anytime you're doing a percent problem in chemistry is what am I measuring? Because the tricky part is usually to figure out what the partial portion is, what the numerator is, because the total is usually pretty self-explanatory. Okay. So for a percent composition problem, you will be given either numbers or you'll be given a chemical formula. And from the numbers, if you're given numbers, um, the numbers you're given will be your part. The total would be if you added all the parts up, and then you always times by 100 to get to percent. Okay. That might sound a little confusing. When we do an actual problem, I think it'll make sense. So here's an example problem for you to try. It asks you to calculate the percent within a compound if you have 29 grams of silver and 4.3 grams of sulfur. All these problems are going to deal with the percent by mass. Okay, It would be pretty simple to get a percent composition of something if we asked it by number, because it would just depend on the subscript. Um, doing it by mass is a little more tricky, but pretty simple in the end, because we're going to use molar masses. If you're given the lab data, you don't even need molar masses. You just use what's given. Okay, To get a percent, you need to divide some partial portion divided by the total. So these are really our partial portions. What we need to get first is a total. Okay? So a total just means add up these two numbers, and if you add them up, you should get 33.33 grams of whatever this compound is. Now to get the proportions that silver is of the total and sulfur is of the total, you just take however much silver is, which is the part, divided by the total, and you take sulfur part and divide by the total. And then you also want to multiply by 100 to get it into a percent. 
If you do this in your calculator, 29 divided by 33.3 times 100 and 4.3 divided by 33.3 times 100, you should get that silver is about 87.1% and that sulfur is about 12.9% of your overall compound. Okay. One thing you can always do at the end of a percent composition problem is double check that you did it correctly by adding up the percents. You should be able to add them up to equal 100 since your elements within your compound should uh, contain all of the mass within that compound. Okay. So this is how to get a percent from lab data. How do you get a percent if you're given the chemical formula? What you're going to do there is you're not given any numbers. So you have to generate all the numbers. And the numbers we're going to base our problems on are the molar mass. Because if you want to know a total, right, we get the total mass of one atom, which would just be an AMU. But generally speaking, for chemistry, we work in moles and grams instead if we can. So to get a total, you're going to determine the molar mass of the entire compound. Okay, so that's your total. Just like last time, we got the total mass of the lab sample. And then you're just going to divide each, the mass of each element that contributes to the total by that total. Okay? Just like we did for the silver and the sulfur. Then as usual for a percent, multiply by 100 to get your final percentage answer. So let's try it. The question here, what is the percent composition of each element in lithium sulfate? Number one, we need a chemical formula. Okay, Lithium sulfate, Li. SO4, this has a charge of 2, this is 1, so there's my neutral equation. To get the percent composition, step 1 is determine the molar mass. So you take 2 times the mass of lithium plus sulfur plus oxygen to get your overall molar mass of this compound, and that will be your total. If we add them up, the molar mass is 109. 0.936 grams. Next step is to determine the percent of each element. So generally what I do is I list my elements. And remember for a percent, you're always going to take some part divided by the total. So we can already say for each of these math problems I'm going to set up, my denominator is going to be the total. 109.936 grams. The part in each case here is the part that the element contributed to the total. For example here, lithium contributed the mass of lithium twice because there are two of them. So if you add up the molar mass of lithium time, twice times it by two, you get that lithium is 13.88. There's just one sulfur, so this is going to be the molar mass of sulfur. And then there are four oxygens, so that 15.999 of each oxygen, four times to get a final answer of 63.996. Get each to a percent by multiplying by 100. So 13.88 divided by 109.936 times by 100 gets you 12.63%. This one is 29.16%, and this one is 58.21%. Again, a good way to check your final answer is to add those three percents together to make sure you end up with 100%, because you should have all of your mass accounted for within your um, compound if you use all the elements in the compound. Okay. Note about sig figs. If you notice for this problem, all of these numbers are your molar mass. Okay? So technically, I got six sig figs going in. I could use all of them. If you look, a lot of them along the way are a little bit just like this one smaller and that one smaller. Um, so with this problem, it becomes very difficult to determine like how many of these are actually measured because we're not even really dealing with measured quantities here. We're dealing with molar masses. So my General rule for percents is if you give it to the hundredth, that should be precise enough to do whatever you need to do um, with your overall final data. 
So you know it's all my percents here are to the hundredth. If for some reason they're um, measured quantities from lab, then you would want to use significant figures from the measured quantities, which is why for the last problem, I ended up just with three significant figures in the end. Okay? So that's percent composition, either from formula or from lab data.